Chase Lee Hockey, Blue Futon, Out of the Box, or Out of the Wall, or whatever you want to call it, my hair again, we have Zombie Fight Club. So it's basically, just like the tile says, the Zombies and Fight Club. Let's just watch it, yo. Okay, first off, there's a character in this movie, not this character in the movie, but his real life name is MC Hot Dog. MC motherfucking hot dog. That is some cray cray shit. But half the actors in this movie, I don't think their names are real. So if you can see from the front cover, we have Andy on, Jessica C. Uh, who do we have in the back? Uh, MC hot dog, special appearance by Candy, uh, KB, Fung Una. Like, it's all just random people. Okay. So Zombie Fight Club. The movie makes it sound like it's literally a movie about zombie fight clubs. The zombie fight clubs don't happen until the last 30 minutes of the movie. And even then, it's not really a zombie fight club. It's more of like a gladiator aspect. Not like maybe a zombie gladiators, but that might be too much on the nose. Literally, the first hour and 10 minutes is kind of like a raid zombie movie. Which is actually a pretty good premise if it had the right budget and just right actors. They don't have the right actors in this movie. They don't have the right budget. Because the this is a movie where the ambition of like is way up here. But the actual... Oh, I need to start well, doing more weights. But the actual, you know, happens. But the, act, the actual product is right here. Ambition. Product. Anyway, so that is what I think about the movie. Disposable cast to the max. I mean, we are knowing people from every room in this story, and half of them die. Are they just stupid characters that you're just like disposable, 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 disposable? And they are disposable because most of them just die for no reason of stupid decisions. And then you have one scene where a guy's like, I used to be in the army or in the air force. Like I said, this is based in China. Which okay, speak about that. Space in China, I want to say, but the dialogue is literally 50 50 English, 50 50, I want to say Catney, Catanese, or is it Mandarin? Uh, I should have done it, it was Mandarin. So it's like half Mandarin, half uh, English. So I find that very interesting why they decided to do that when they literally switched dialogue in between. Because I did the movie with subtitles, because I'm one of those people that if it is made in China, made in Thailand, made in Japan, made in South Korea, I want. The real things come out of their mouth and me reading at that point. But it is literally a 50 50 split, so I find that very, very interesting to do that. But anyway, very disposable characters, ridiculous action, which I will give them the point. The action was so crazy, but the CGI blood took it completely out. Like, there were some good gore aspects. I mean, you cannot deny that. There was some fun gore, some good action set pieces, but the CGI blood and guts. So it was just really, really bad. Oh, now I was going with that uh, old man. He pulled out U.S. Air Force cam camo. So, I mean, I doubt that's... I mean, maybe he was in the U.S. Air Force. But then he comes out with, like, mech legs. Which is like Mech Warrior. You remember that old school PC Xbox game? Mech Warrior. He literally came out with Mech Warrior legs. So this movie is just completely crazy where it's literally raid zombie which the premise is very good it could have been so good you're like that it it's a good premise but then it goes into a post-apocalyptic gladiator fight club and that part you're just like what what and then the characters are some of them are just the females are so weak again it's one of those ones where it's like okay there's a scene where one of them's getting raped and eats bread you're just like uh <laughs> there's a I mean, I know a lot of you are talking about fat shaming, like, in this, in it. it. It was a funny scene. It was a funny scene about the guy thinking he's having sex with someone else, but someone else comes in the room. I laughed, okay? I thought it was pretty funny. But overall, Zombie Fight Club, stupid movie, disposable characters, ridiculous premise. Even though some of the premise works, but with the budget, like I said, and ambition down he up here, and the product down here, just doesn't work what this movie should be giving us. So, it's a negative movie for sure, but did I have a fun time with it? Yes, I did enjoy some of it, but man, some of it is so, 
stupid. So Tommy Feichel will receive a 2 out of 5 with Blue Tunsil at 40%. So see the critics news scores gave this one, and I'm pretty sure it's not good. So the tomato meter, there's no critics, and the audience score 28% with 86 of them. Makes, I, I mean, I can't complain. And Liam Neeson movie's coming out tomorrow called Honest Thief. What? I'm sorry, I didn't know that. I didn't know there was a new Liam ne ne Neeson movie coming out. Anyway, I'm scrolling down. There's three critics, and all three of them are negative. It's unbelievably awful. Uh, apparently, it's a sequel. Didn't know that. Count me out. Problematic punishment. Like I said, it's not a good movie. I can tell you that it is not a good movie. The first hour and 10 minutes was off the wall ridiculous. That, but I did enjoy it for the blood and gore. The last 30 minutes, this fight club stuff, blech. But anyway, to use my 40%, I mean, if I did 5, I'd probably give it more than 35. But I don't do that. I do decibels. Decibels? Anyway, 40 or 28. Chase out of the Blue Fluton. Like, comment, subscribe. One of the things Blue Fluton and Tobin, you're Blue Tonians. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Peace and love. Peace and love. And up next.